Hey guys, sorry if you hear any background noises. That's just my family. Anyway, this is part two of Birth to Death Fox. Hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. When I found my brother dead, I was scared. It was freezing outside, and I had no home, nowhere to go, and I didn't know anyone else to live with. I was all alone. I knew something had to be done. I knew I knew it. Sorry about that, guys. I just had to get him to go. I decided to make the best of it. There. There's some nice trees. That one looks good. No food under it. Guess I'm just gonna have to sleep in the rain. I was shivering all night. It was cold and wet. But I knew in the morning I had to start my journey. Ah. Time to do my morning stretch. <clears throat> that felt better. Now, I just have to go and start my journey, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I walked for about an hour till I heard someone running. I looked all around. No one was there. So then I started running away from the sound. I was nervous and scared. I wanted my mother and my dad. I came to the meadow. I could hear delightful sounds and happy sounds of crickets, owls, birds, I knew it was safe here. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna take a picture. I found the flower fields. I had no idea I, wa I had walked that fast and gone that far. I, rem I had remembered the flower fields from when I was a when I was a baby. It was the place our pa our pack our clan whatever you call it went to whenever they got lost. I knew I was safe, and this was the place I needed to be. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoy this series. Um, this really means everything to me. I'm so excited I get to be part of your YouTube world. Thank you guys. Thank you all so much.